our sperm. They have been impregnating women and then later invading those women's bodies again and stealing the unborn fetuses for reasons we can only imagine. Uh, our world, my friend, is based on the premise of a 30-year mortgage. You and I can close our eyes and go to sleep at night because we're pretty sure that the world we know today will be there tomorrow and the next day and the week after that. So I repeat, Doctor, until the day comes when we know what we're dealing with, until we can give solid answers, the policy of this government remains nothing is out there. It's just science fiction, the domain of a very rabid lunatic fringe. What's the point of this meeting, General? We want you to join us. Help us find the answers. We need people like you in this group. Now, Doctor, they would be willing to make you an excellent arrangement. And they will let you inside the door and show you things that will amaze you beyond your wildest dreams. Not if it means sticking with the party line. That's what it would mean. And I'm sorry, General. I can't help you. Now, unless there's anything else. You're being very foolish, sir. Perhaps. But that's the way I feel about it. Thank you, General. Dr. Chase, I'm afraid you're going to be a very lonely man. But you've already found that out, haven't you? 